folks who do a lot of gardening are less likely to get multiple sclerosis. And it's not the actual shoveling or, you know, getting pricked by a rose. It's that there's actually bacteria in the soil, right? And do those bacteria get introduced? That's a theory, right? We don't have a lot of evidence for it. But is it the bacteria that you're exposed to that allow you to not have that bad inflammation? We know this a bit from some of the research that's gone on in asthma and allergies. And so there's this famous uh, immun immunology hypothesis called the hygiene hypothesis. And what it means is we grew up surrounded by bacteria rolling in dirt. Maybe, you know, my kids did that this morning, right? And we were exposed to a lot of pathogens, a lot of worms, things like that before we had sanitation. And our immune system was used to reacting to those foreign pathogens, right? And it was trained to do that over millennia, right? But then over time, we've cleaned everything up. Everything has become sterile, right? And that's good. It helps us with human health. But now the immune system is hyperactive, right? It doesn't know what's foreign, right? And so does this lead to us getting more allergies, more asthma? Because now our immune systems interpret other normal proteins as what we used to have been, you know, from uh, an immune immunologic subset that have been weighted towards, you know, fighting bacteria and fungi and, and, and proteasomes and, and helminths and things like that. So could it be that we need to be exposed to certain bacterial communities to avoid autoimmune inflammation as well?